Harvard professor Stephen Coslin, one of the world's leading investigators in the field of mental images, has done extensive research on the impact that mental images have on your brain. So let's say you're sitting on the beach, relaxing, taking in a soft breeze, the warm sunshine, and the sounds of the waves hitting the shore. Let's say while you are enjoying the beach, you are connected to an MRI machine that's mapping and taking a picture of your brain activity while you're having this experience on the beach. Now, let's say three weeks later, while away from the beach, you are again wired to an MRI machine and you simply recall the memory of sitting on the beach and you remember what you saw and what you heard and what you felt. And the MRI takes another snapshot of your brain while having this memory and when that picture is compared to the original MRI picture of when you were actually on the beach, they are identical. In other words, that part of your brain can't tell the difference between something that's real from something that is imagined or remembered. We know this to be true, for example, when you think about having a bad dream or a nightmare. What happens? You wake up. Your brain wakes you up. It doesn't say, oh, this is just a dream, relax, it's okay, keep sleeping. It says, no, no, danger. It senses danger. It senses, sends cortisol, adrenaline to wake you up because it perceived that dream to be reality. What's the impact of all of this? When you repeatedly say negative things about yourself, beat yourself up, judge yourself, you are creating appropriate images in your brain that your brain perceives as reality. And the more you give your brain a healthy diet of those negative images, your brain perceives it as reality and the brain does what it's supposed to do. It creates more of the same. You are creating your reality.